hello hello guys uh today we will learn about how to use a laptop schematic the reason why i'm doing this video is because someone uh commented on my on my youtube channel and uh, he told me to do videos uh regarding uh laptop schematics so guys that's why i'm doing this video to, uh, today I want to show you and teach you how to use schematics. This is very, very, very easy, guys. To understand uh, schematics, you need to understand the meaning of the of the symbols on the schematic. Because schematics is they are all about the symbol. We we'll find the diode, capacitors, resistors. But they are all in in symbol sign. So now let's start let me show you before i continue i want to show you this comment uh how do i check okay let me just come in here these are all your comments guys i am sure you can see oh where's this guy where's this guy where's this guy where's this guy Ah, no, I can't see this comment anymore. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead. Let's uh, open a schematic. The first thing that you need to, to understand, you need to be able to, to download the schematic, okay? And how do you download the schematic? Very, 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 very easy. So you now, this is a motherboard, right? This is a board, yeah, you can see. And here, we have a, port number there's a port number here so what you do is you go online you open your chrome or any browser that you are using and then you go and you type this number as it is you type it on your chrome internet explorer whatever browser that you are using you go there you type the number and they will give you a schematics they are, they are all free of charge you can use the uh, early seller uh and uh there's bad caps as well of which is a forum they post things there free of charge so go there guys visit uh visit them and download their things and post it there and you'll get more help more solution i've been using bad caps for a long period of time so i recommend them they are the best anyway let's continue guys okay there we are this is a schematic we have a schematic there first page it's where you'll see the information and this one is for a tell it's a compel uh, and compel uh motherboard you will find them in dell machines you will find them in uh, asa laptops and uh what else but they are everywhere online guys they are they are everywhere they are everywhere you will find those uh things there they are everywhere anyway let's continue okay i'm gonna zoom in okay let's understand the first thing here when you come across something that's written as you on the port labeled as you it means they're a chip it means it's a chip so instead here we have something here let's say let's uh, let's zoom in it's probably a chip right and let's see if the letter starts with you Oh shit, yes. Okay, there we are. We have a uh, UCIE. UC1E, I mean. And uh, yeah, there it is. This is a chip. Okay, this is a chip. Let's go back again. Let's check for another thing that starts with U. U, they stand for, for chips. But if it starts with PU, it means it is power chip. P stands for power and U stands for, for chips. Right. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's come here. Okay. Let's check for something else. Here we have uh, PU300. So if you can see. Here. 
Okay, sorry about that. You can't see, but today we have PU three hundred. Uh, let's go to a schematic. Let's search for PU three hundred. How do you search? It's easy. You press Control and F. Control F. Then you type PU three hundred. Press Enter. Okay, there we are. This is PU three hundred. This is a chip here. PU three hundred. There we are. There we are. This is PU three hundred. I believe this is for uh, this chip. I believe it controls what it controls the the RAM. And here, this is a chip number, meaning the RAM number. If you want to buy this chip online or look for this chip online, let me show you uh, for, an, uh, for an example. Let's paste this chip number here, and you will see it will give us all the information regarding this chip. And it will give us the schematic for this chip and see the pinouts. There it is. I'm sure you can see this is a, a, a chip a controller. If you want more, you can use uh yeah, you can go inside and check more. But anyway, we are, I'm not interested in doing that, so let's continue. This is a chip I was showing you. It's written there PU, it means a uh, power chip. And this chip, I think it's for it's for a RAM. It should trade like 1.5. Yeah, this is a RAM power supply. The whole thing here is a RAM power supply. And uh, Q, they stand for transistors. They stand for MOSFETs. When you come across Q, just know that it's a transistor there. Here we have PQ300. PQ300, it's a power, power transistor. Okay, they switch on and off to generate what 1.5 volts and uh pl actually let's talk about l l they means uh, inductors they stand for it. all right then what else do we have uh pc pc it means a uh, power capacitor the c stand for for capacitor it's either it's a titanium capacitor or it's a ceramic capacitor but c they stand for capacitor and p now you know guys p they stand for power it means power capacitor all right and then let's talk about r r e here we have p r p stand for power resistor and r stand for a resistor p is for power r is for resistor what else you know now the u uh pc is for power is for power capacitor what else do you want to know guys let's see and this sign here this sign here uh the one like uh, an arrow it stands for for crown not this one but that's one i'm not sure if you can see they stand for for crown those are drowned those are drowned those are drowned anyway i'm done guys i think i covered the basic you need to learn those here yeah. and see anything different here because you know now what all the signs are for anyway sharp sharp guys